All right, I'm going to show you how to make an awesome hockey pool. So I'm sure you know what a hockey pool is. Um, you pick a few players and you, you know, follow their goals and assists and assign certain points to them. So I have one where the kids have chosen a, a bunch of players. I'm going to follow their goals, assists, and the points. I'm just going to use this handy dandy sum formula. And this is how I used to set up hockey pools all the time. Uh, the only problem is it's pretty time consuming. You have to go and look up Connor McDavid's number. So I'll go to NHL.com. I look up his, his stats. He's got 34 goals and 63 assists. So you put them in, look, it adds it up fine. And I put a little thing over here just to to follow the scores and then I'd have to go back in and find Sidney Crosby or Nikita Kucherov or all the players so I thought you know there's got to be an easier more automatic kind of way to do this and I found a formula that does it so here's the same similar looking hockey pool I just put the names in boom finds all the points for me how did I do that I use the VLOOKUP formula, and I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so what you're going to need is some stats, the player stats. So I went to NHL.com, went into Skaters, and uh, picked like the regular season, but said get stats, and it, it came up with all these stats. So the best thing about this is you can export it. So you export it and it will open up into an Excel file. So let's see what that looks like. This is what the summary looks like. It's got the players and all their stats. So what I do is I push Control A to grab it all, Control C to copy it, and then I'm gonna paste it into our um, hockey pool worksheet. So what I have is another worksheet here called player stats and this is where I just paste all that information in and then we're going to reference this in a second. I'll show you with the VLOOKUP. So here's what it looks like. It's VLOOKUP and then it has a whole bunch of different conditions. So let's try and get this to work from scratch. So if we V lookup, it's going to say the lookup value. So what are we trying to find? We're trying to find Connor McDavid. And then if you put a comma, it says the table array. So where are we going to look for Connor McDavid? In the player stats here. So I know it goes from A, and we're going to need over to H, which is the the assist category and I know it's going to go down to 50 so we're just going to look in this kind of square area then the column index that's asking which column in that table you want to look down and I know that the seventh column over is goals so I'm going to write seven and the range lookup true or false true means are we looking for Connor McDavid or something close false is an exact match we're gonna look only for the name Connor McDavid so I'm gonna go with false here false false and then we're gonna close it and it worked it's looked up 34 goals and under his name one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns over, 34 goals. So we can just put in a couple formulas, and then whenever you put a name in there that's in the list, it will look it up and find, find all the, uh, the stats. So let's see if we can, let's put in uh, John Carlson and see if that works. 
John Carlson. Oh, it found him in the list. So this makes it way easier than doing the old manual back and forth between stats and trying to type them in and not having any, you know, typos and stuff like that. So hopefully this helped you out.